So within AutoCAD, we can use layer states to capture the current states of our layers. So what's on, what's off, what's frozen, what's thawed, colors, locked, unlocked. And it helps us so that we don't have to constantly be like, I need to turn these two layers on and these two layers off. Now I need to reverse that because I need these two layers on and these two layers off. So right now what I can see is that I've got um, everything's on, everything's thawed, I'm happy with the colors. And what I'm gonna do is in my layers panel here, we'll go to the drop down here. And what I'm gonna do is right now I can see that I've got no layer states except for the default unsafe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer state. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this everything on. And this is just going to say everything is on and thawed. So I click OK. And now what I can see is that I've got this everything on layer state. So what I'm going to do is come to my drop down. Let's just turn a couple things off. Let's um, freeze a couple things and what I can see now is I'm now back into this unsafe layer state. So now I work along, everything's good and I go, oh, I really need to go back to where it was. So I go to my panel drop down, I come to my drop down here, I say everything on and notice that it's returned everything back to where it was. Okay, now before I go in and make my, well let's actually do that. So let's come in here and what I'm going to do, actually, let's go into the layer properties. And in the layer properties here, I'm going to take all these A Anno ones and I'm going to freeze them. Oops, looks like I, I selected too many. Let's, uh, I think I did control A instead. Oh no, we're good. Sorry, kind of got lost there and what happened there. But no, so I've frozen those ones. Let's turn off this one with the, with the calls and let's also turn off all these floor ones. So I'm going to turn those off and I'm also going to take, I'm going to take the walls here and I'm going to change the wall colors to be purple. So I click OK and I've now made a pretty drastic change to what's going on here. Now instead of simply just saving this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my manage layer states. So here's my layer states manager. And what I'm going to do is just take a look at the options here. Notice that my restore options here is that it's actually going to turn off layers not found in layer state and it's not listing anything extra related. So a couple things there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the, the, the new button here because I want to create a new one and I'm going to call this um, working on the walls. So I'm going to click OK and we can see that I've now saved this particular layer state. Let's click close. And let's go in there now and let's switch back and forth between everything on. Notice the walls are now yellow again. And notice because I'm in 2015, notice the nice little preview here. I can go back into working with the walls. So not only does it capture the state like on, off, frozen, thawed, but it's also capturing colors. Now let's say I screwed up. I don't really like that purple color. I don't really necessarily want to have to go in there and you know change it and resave and things like that. So what I'm going to do is go back into my managed layer states. I'm going to take my working walls, I'm going to click edit. And notice that I get kind of a mini layer editing dialog box here. So let's go take our walls, let's take that color, let's make them um, green. I'll click OK and that's now been updated. What I've also decided is that I don't want to see the grids anymore. So I'm going to take the grids, I'm going to freeze that, I'm going to click OK. I've now saved that. Let's actually click close here. Let's go back into our state here. Let's go back to everything on and let's go back to working and notice that the, the grids are now gone and my walls are green. And you can really build as many of these different um, states that you want. Okay, so now that I've, I've done that, let's come in here and let's add a new layer. So let's go into our layer properties. Let's add a new layer. Let's call it Mike and let's add a couple objects. Whoops, I guess I should actually set that active. So let's pick Mike. And let's draw a couple lines through there. And let's see what happens now when I go to my layer states. So notice that when I go everything on, well, wait a minute. Everything on is supposed to be everything on. Well, if I go into my managed layer states, remember the options? So any layer that's not found within the layer state is going to be turned off automatically. So what I could do now is I could go back into my edit. I could find Mike. 
Well, wait a minute. Mike's not even there. What's going on? Well, that's okay. It's because it wasn't captured there. What I need to do is actually add it to the layer state. So more than just actually um, not turning it on or not capturing, it's actually completely ignored it right from my layer state. So I'm gonna click add. I'm gonna take Mike, I'm gonna add it. And what I want is I want Mike to be turned on and I want it to be um, magenta in this new layer state. So I'll click OK, everything's on. Click close, whoops, I should have restored it. Um, let's put everything on and now we can see the mic layer in all its glory. So when that option in the layer states is enabled, it completely ignores it in your existing layer states. Okay, the last little thing here is that the layer state is currently only defined in this particular drawing. Well, maybe I want to use it in multiple places. So I'm going to go into my manage layer states and what I can do is take the layer states here and I can actually export it. So I can actually export the layer state into this LAS file so that I can actually use it in other drawings. I can also build layer states in my template file so they're automatically there as I start new drawings. So those are layer states um, and hopefully you can see that when you have groups of layers that you frequently change the state on, you know I turn off plumbing so I can work on electrical, that you can have these kind of group states that you can flip back and forth.